You're a single working mom and your daughter Kaya is now 20. So I want to know a little bit more about that relationship. What's your relationship like with your daughter? Well, last year it was strained to its absolute capacity. We had so much loss. I, <clears throat> I lost my father. Then six months later, she lost her father. And then six months after that, we lost uh, my mother-in-law. So we just had this unrelenting year of grief and loss. And we were grieving very differently and very separately. So no matter how much I was trying to reach out to her, trying to help, it, we, there was nothing that I could do that was right. Nothing that she felt that she was walking in a fog. She also was, it was her senior year. So she wasn't having prom. She wasn't having graduation. It was all with the backdrop of COVID. But then we had all of this heartbreaking loss on top of it. I'm so Locked sorry for your losses and, and your family's losses. I'm curious, how Thank did you, you and Kaya pull through this? Like what, what was sort of the, the transition that, that helped you emerge from all of the devastating events of the year? I think one of the things that really helped us, even though I was having a complete nervous breakdown about it, like, you know, being a single mom and your only kids going off to college and you're like, oh, oh my God, what am I going to do? So I was having all of that on top of it, right? But um, she went the second semester to school in person to college. And I think that, I think that was really helpful because we got a chance to, one, appreciate each other in that absence and and to really miss each other and and um, be grateful. And so that's become a daily practice and it really changed both of our perspectives overall. And then it really, really changed our relationship. But you but you know, you have to go through the deepest, darkest parts of hell first. And then you then every single thing you're grateful for. You're like, oh my gosh, that little thing. Ooh, I got a parking spot. Ooh, I, you know, woke up today and I wasn't tired. <laughs> like <laughs> I didn't feel despondent today. Yay. <laughs> but also the gratitude makes it so you're not despondent, like gratitude for every little thing. And, you know, I, I am kind of hoping that globally that we have that as a human race, that now coming out of COVID, we will just be grateful for so many little things that we just didn't have this whole time. Eva, I was reading through um, your bio and, and everything you've been through, and I, I couldn't even believe this. So your husband passes away tragically and unexpectedly. And then his identity was stolen after passing. I mean, this just, this blows my mind. What can you tell us about that? Within about a month, um, they had stolen his identity. They were taking out loans in his name. Um, because of COVID, all of the government agencies were either shut down or backed up or both. So we didn't get a death certificate for almost two months. So we couldn't prove that he was dead. And so it was impossible to deal with identity theft, which is already a tough thing to deal with to begin with. And then during COVID, it was just an absolute nightmare, an absolute nightmare. Wow. Shifting gears a little bit, I know we all know you from your famous role as Dr. Maria Santos Gray with the wildly popular soap opera for all my children. Now, given everything you've been through, all of these experiences that you've related to us, I mean, I imagine it must be remote, but what do you think of when you think back on those times? Uh, that was, it, it's, it still is a second family to me. I feel like I grew up there, a lot of us do. We, you know, found the loves of our lives and got married and had kids and, and you know, on screen and off screen. And this is the 50th, anniversary of the first airing of all my children it was on for 41 years but this is the 50th year that it would have been airing so the fun thing is that we just did this show called reunion road trip for e for the e channel and that's airing right now which was just a blast to shoot and now um in the works for abc it, it all my children will hopefully be the first ever soap opera to transition into a nighttime drama wow in its home spot on abc and it'll be called pine valley so they're working on uh the pilot now i don't nobody's read the script yet so i don't i i wish i could tell more but i i can't because <laughs> i actually don't know eva thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us be sure to check out eva's latest film streaming now on pureflix.com